Hello, this is Red Reptiles, and today I'm bringing you another installment of the Red Reptile channel. Today I'd be bring I'm bringing you a video on um, the Reptifreeze Medium Chameleon Cage, which I just bought yesterday. Now, this cage is for my Yemen Chameleon, which is she's I guess a girl, and she's about a year old, two years, two year and a half old, and she was in a two and a half by three foot viv, which I personally thought was too small at this stage. And the reason I thought that was because she kept trying to come out. Don't, don't get me wrong, that's fantastic. She's, chameleons are known to be you know, territorial and aggressive and pains in the bumps. But the fact that she wanted to come out was fantastic. She loves coming out, she comes out, she climbs on the blinds, the little tree I got by there, you might be able to see in a corner. Sorry. So anyway, um, but that got me thinking, I thought, do you know what, this wooden viv, because it was a wooden viv, she couldn't climb on the walls, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. You could probably hear her now, climbing all over the thing. So I thought I'd buy her another one. The lighting in here is not that good. Buy her another one, and hopefully she'll enjoy it. So I went and bought the one, and I bought it £155, not including the trailer bottom, which don't get me started. Bought this today, and here it is. It's only too big. It comes, and it comes separately. I mean, who sells this separately? Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. It just works perfectly fine without it. It does everything it needs to do. The tray is just there to make things easier to clean up at the end. But, I, I had to buy it. That sent me back 24 pound. Too big, i take it back. Anyway, um, so, yeah, bearing on. This video is gonna be about pros, cons, if I like it and if I don't like it and what I like about you know that sort of business. So anyway, I'll see you over there. And this is the Viv. Mind if I'm shaking a little bit. I have got my other phone here on my light. See? Boosh. Right, just saw I guess we can see it because it's in the middle of the night, yeah. In Wales. There's my there's my chameleon cookie. Loving her day out, cheers. Oh, she's very smart like that. Loving her day out. She's very friendly. Don't get me wrong, she loves it, she loves coming out, she runs straight up to me. Right, now, I bought this for one reason. Does anyone know the fr the film that this comes from? Hey, Dum Dum, you give me gum gum. If you know that phrase, comment below. Name a name film where it's from. So anyway, get into the actual vivarium. It's a big, it's a three, I think it's a four foot tall, I'm not quite sure. It's, a, it's the medium one, I'm really sized up, it's huge. It all goes all the way up to the roof, and there's a light. What can I say about it? Well, I think the mesh is good, so she can climb on. I see how many positive about the mesh. It could, some people say it brings problems with shredding because it doesn't keep the heat or moisture in, but we'll have to see. It just means you have to spray them more, get a constant spray on them. Ah, uh, right. Neck, uh, cottons were it. As you see, there's a wire going in there, so the thermometer. The thermometer then shreds all the way up to the top. Okay. This is a negative because they are, there is no holes or anything manufactured into the product that allows the thermometer to get into it. So I've had to slide this through a little gap on the door but there, as you can see. Now, don't get me wrong, the door works perfectly, everything's fine, it latches up. As you can see, some, there's two latches and one up there. I don't know if you can see it, probably terrible lighting. But it works fine, like that. But I am going to have to drill, drill or make a little hole in the top to get the thermometer in. Another negative is, I can see all these, all the plants, fake plants and stuff in there. Well, those are not actually on the, me the mesh, they are on the wood. I'm struggling to find a way to get them also to stick to the mesh, which is such a small hole. It's so just a tiny hole there. So here's Coxter. How are you doing, Kit? She loves it. She loves the new viv. She's climbing everywhere. She's like, wiped on right side, man. So, the two, the only thing I can see I find is two negatives. Anyway, going on to the pro, pros, it's extremely lightweight. I mean, I can put one hand with everything in. Um, it comes with the lights. I had to swap out one of the lights because it was too bright. It could in a heat lamp, a heat light was literally like a household light. Then I so I had to swap around for the red one because of exactly same heat, everything, but it's a little bit bright um dimmer. I was gonna say lightweight, tiny size is small compared to 
the other are the Vivs. Very small compared to that's a steak. Frankie. Small compared to that, it's even smaller than my Coca Cola fridge. Got some bugs there. Forget those. Um what else can I say about it? It's very lightweight. I would personally say buy it. But uh, anyway, what am I talking about? We'll get back to you in two seconds. Let me just turn the camera around. And I'm back. So, that's the Viv. That's the Reppy Breeze Vivarium, which cost me 55 British pounds sterling. There's, there's, there's a lot of pros and there are a lot of cons, and that's better. <laughs> if I can get some load out there, it'd be perfect. There are a lot of pros and a lot of cons to purchasing this, this Viv. Sadly, I found those cons out later on after buying them. I when I was putting it together, I did notice there was nothing, there was no holes or anything built in for me to put the thermometer in, or even even tie the the, the plants to to the walls, sort of thing, the mesh. But but we can get over those. We can build on it. We can make holes. We can not too big holes because we got the crickets coming out, the harvest coming out. But we can build upon it. So if I had to say, I would buy it. There's you can do loads. Of, there's you know. Anything we can make our own. We, we it, it, that's just like the hot the shaft of it. We can build on. We can do everything with it. Um. So for my opinion, buy it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, I I appreciate loads. If you, uh, I appreciate the view, and maybe like dislike if you don't like it, or even you know even if like you think I can improve somewhere somehow, please comment. You know, criticism, positive criticism. You know, build on is. Fantastic. Because I'm new to this. I've only done like four, five, six videos. I don't know how many. And, um, you know, born nowhere near you. You've got to learn. Doing life. Anyway, if I go, I say, Tortoise love. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.